What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And can I just say thank you all to each and every one of you. Um, had a pretty explosive last couple months for the channel. Almost had 400 subs. So thank you to each and every one of you. I genuinely appreciate any time you spend in here with all my heart and hope you get something of value for it. But enough of that nonsense. We're here for more nonsense with Gairuda. So we were going pretty much all in with the Bant version because the Bant version is all the blink effects. You got your your princes and your uh, your thassas and your spark doubles and your brood moths. But people are asking, why don't you do the soul type version? And I thought the combo version was pretty cool to start. But I'm starting to think the deck could have some legs as more of just like a mid rangey deck that grinds and then Gairuda is just a value card. Don't know how strong it is. Um, because then you start getting into territory where you have so many weak creatures to hit that a 6-mana six 6-6 six, six that gets you, like, a Fibblethip isn't amazing. But who knows, when you have cards like Fiend Artisan that are pretty freaking powerful, there could be something to it. Um, so here, we're playing Soul Type version of the deck that's a little bit more grindy, and Gairuda is kind of more just like a one extra resource type of thing, rather than the entire engine of the deck. But you still have some sick hits. I mean, we have some Thassas... We got some Atresses that will give us some card advantage. Pelucrinos is always fun to hit. Acolyte of Affliction to get some of the other cards that you put in the graveyard. Coglet to fight stuff and also to kill all the super powerful enchantments in the format right now. Running no humans in this version except for Atris, which is pretty cool. And Acolyte of Affliction. It does come up, guys. I promise you. <laughs> um, one is Oni, just as a fun of. Um, I mean, I guess you do have quite a few cards in the yard, so pretty good. I was thinking about it in the uh, Nethroid deck, and I'm like, well, she's not great in there because you're pulling all the cards from the yard. But, actually, no, Nethroid's odd. Dang it. Dang it. I wanted Nethroid in the deck. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then in Enray's Forerunners as well, just as. More of, honestly, a lot of these are Fiend Artisan targets, especially the Acolytes, the Izoni, and the Enray's Forerunners. Um, but obviously, you can fetch up almost anything with it. Hitting another Fibblethip off of this is pretty cool. It pretty much just gives you a divination you can fetch up because it costs three mana. Draw two cards. I don't know. It's pretty neat. But yeah, it's more of a grindy version of the deck where all these things are incidental card advantages or no hide Ferex to help stabilize the board. We have all creatures, so there's no drawback to this. And yeah, then you have uh, a little toolbox action with Fiend Artisan to help fetch up some other dudes. Maybe another Gyruda or Gigan. Gigan? I don't know, man. Either way, there's the mana base. Let's go to game one. Hope you guys enjoy. Sweet. So the mana looks good for this hand. Curve looks fine. Kind of sucks not having three drops, but whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. There we go. So I'll probably lead with the Fibble Tip because Fiend Anderson's not going to do anything the first turn anyway. So might as well just draw the card. Um, guess double... Blue is the thing I'll want eventually. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get used to the mana. He's hybrids, so either one would have helped with him. Cool. And this is where I kind of like Fibblethip's legendary, which is kind of a drawback. Ooh, please tell me this is mono white. That'd be super cool. Gosh, this art is beautiful. Um, so let's attack for one. Yeah, so now I can fetch up something else off the of Fiend Artisan, Fibblethip. And then I have another Fibble Thip to play. Helps them turn them into more fodder, you know? Okay. So three white sources in a row. Idyllic range. It's gotta be mono white, right? What type of deck are we looking at here? Banishing Light. Interesting and bold move. Here's a question. Thassa or Atris? I like Atris. Don't want Thassa to get hit by a Banishing Light. Shock. Attack. See if he's... He's bold. <gasps> He's bold, brash, and beautiful. All right. Atris, let's go. Give me something good here. Let's put a Pelucanos in the yard. And... A Fiend Artisan in my hand, maybe? Nullhide Ferox would be kind of cool. Kogla. Yeah, let's get a Kogla, man. Kogla? I don't know. He's thinking. Ooh... Sick move, bro. Sick move. Okay, to think about these ones, even if they're two lands, am I really that upset? I don't think so. 
Boom. Good cards. Let's go. <laughs> That's a powerful hit. That is a powerful hit. And if he doesn't interact, I get to Thassa Atris again. Seems pretty good. If he plays a Planeswalker, his Menace will probably get him through. I love, I, guys, I love this card so much. <gasps> Charming Prince. Blink your wall, dude. That'd be pretty cool. So I'm not going to attack with him because I don't want to trade him for a Prince. Okay, both on top. Scary. Healer's Hawk. Also scary. Oh, no. Can't do a Luxodon right now. That's cool. Rude! Very rude opponent. Really inconsiderate. Okay. Attack. I'm just going to get the Thassa out there. So if I hit a land, Gyruda gets double triggers if it sticks around. Seems better than just playing a Paradise Druid. I am HO. Not a land. Little, little nervous with that. <laughs> what? Is he just playing four of each of these? Well, that's kind of messed up. I think I actually block here because I have so many in my hand. Oh, boo! <laughs> All right, let's play Fibble Thip. See if we can draw something neat, like an untap land. There it is. Now we'll go Meyer Triton. Seems good. Two lands in the yard. So we draw another untap land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could play him, get in with those two. Oh no. Okay. Let's well, scary. Um, I could double block here, play an Izoni, and that'll give me quite a few chump blockers, but I think I just wait till after I get Ruda. So, yeah, we just let it happen. I'd rather have Fibblethip block the Pride Mates. I'd rather have Meyer Triton trade with a Pride Mate for sure. That's a Thassa. It's pretty neat. Yep, let's just go for it. Let's see what we hit. Ooh, baby. Two Helios in the yard from opponent. An Atris and a Pelucranos. Uh, Fiend Artisan? What could I hit off of Fiend Artisan? Kogla? Excuse me. Okay. Um. It's with the Fiend Artisan. It's just a big boy. I don't want to see. Thank you. Um. Play tap land. I can use the mana. Didn't want to keep opponent waiting, but yes, now we have a big blocker. Nice. Cool. No interaction. And then Izonian Thassa is also a pretty sick uh, series of cards to have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll land off the top to play four runners would be cool. No! Now they get to grow before triggers. Before damage. That's rude. Okay, what interaction do I have for them? <laughs> Just Pelucranos? Is that really all I got? Am I gonna have to go wide here? That's not an untapped land. Still quite a bit of damage. He's gaining a ton of life, so meh. Um, Yeah, I think we just play a Zoni and then next turn play four runners. Sweet. Dude, combos I never thought imaginable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't need another land. Pass. Let's go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This deck had synergies, I, uh, not to mention in the deck tech. Totally knew they were a thing. You know, thought through them that well. No! Let me take my Gyruda. Can't hit my Meyer Triton. Can't do it, bro. Sure. I can even just Thassa Blink as Oni a couple times. Seems pretty good. Fiend Artisan. Yeah. I, I feel like I have a couple more turns 
I have one more. Because once it gets Heliod, I just lose. And I don't want to do math to see if this is lethal. Okay, so. I have eight mana. I can play Thassa. And then him is three for the other. Determining whether I want to sack Fibbletip right now. I don't think so. I think I want to sack him with Fiend Artisan and get another Mire Triton. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Whoops. Green. One, two. There you go. Auto pay. Yeah, we'll get a Mire Triton. More triggers for Izoni, some life gain, another good blocker. And then I can play Fibble Tip from hand too. Didn't need to shock there, my bad. Ooh, Kogla. No attacks. We're going wide, boys. Let's go, dude. Boom. It's happening. I don't have any non-creature spells, so don't worry about that, son. Those are big pride mates. Passion Orator, not gonna do it. So 34 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 38 life. This has to be lethal. Right? Plus all my dudes have vigilance. Swamp. Four runners. Let's go. Guess I'll just leave Izoni. See what happens. <laughs> Watch me not kill him just for my zoni. But this right here is 39. So... Feels like it has to be enough. I mean, Death Touch and Trample over here too. So these are automatically three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Seems pretty good. Plus Fiend Artisan can sack something. No, Sorcery Speed. Dang it. I was thinking on your turn. But yeah, him getting back the Heliod is what was going to, you know, kill me. But they also all have Vigilance, so he has to attack through... He would need Trample or something. Gosh, this was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the one of four runners, man. Doing work. Blocks the fibble tip too. These guys trample. They all have trample. My word. Um, I could sack one of the people who were blocked with Izoni, but he's dead, so I don't want to take any more of his time. Goodbye, All Might. Business doing pleasure with you, and a pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you guys, want to hear a joke? <laughs> what did what did the prostitute say after uh, she did her job? It was a business doing pleasure with you. <laughs> oh man, got him. I love that one. It's so stupid. So, do I want to ramp into Oracatris? I can't because I don't have an untapped land, so I won't. So I'll play Fibble Tip and trade him off. Good talk, guys. Appreciate the input. Ooh! Could have done it, but wouldn't have known, so that's fine. Might want to cut one Fibble Tip for a fourth Druid or something. Just ramping from 2 to 4 seems good in this deck, rather than just... But then you get to play a tap land, and then... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I do know I'm going to block this Goblin Banneret. Um, so this has to be that 2 man enchantment deck. Right? Oh, main phase. Mentor, yeah. Yeah, I'm still blocking. On the dragons, this deck's kind of scary for us. So we'll scry. Do I need another land? One, two, three, four, five. That'll give me six. I can play a Gairuda. No, I already played the land for this turn. I'll untap with five mana. Oof. Uh, I already have the three green sources for Kogla, but I think I need it though. OK, 
can really think of other stuff I would be able to or need to draw there instead. So if the Druid survives, so he almost certainly has the light of the stage then. He didn't even pay to make it. Well, that makes sense, yeah. Thought I had two tips for some reason. Scorching Dragonfire, there we go. So yep, even if it dies, I still have plays. That's what's important. If I can get to Kogla, I feel like this will be fine. And he didn't add to the board, so that's actually pretty decent for us. All right, Atris. Do your work! I love this card so much. <laughs> Give me something good here. And he puts the others in the yard, which synergizes with just everything else. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, what am I hoping for? Pelucanos is fine. Nullhide Ferox, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I already have a Kogla. I'm fine hitting land drops. No worries, mate. <clears throat> I mean, I can even just get it back with Acolyte. It's pretty good. And then Kogla can bounce the Acolyte. I mean, come on, man. That's sick. Pays the mana. Doesn't want to trade now. Okay. Does he have another light of the stage? I think yes. They always do. Cavalcade of Calamity. That's the name of the enchantment. Couldn't remember it. That's scary. That's real scary right there. I've seen some people doing this, and then they had Obosh too. Wonder what he thinks is superior about this. Um, so do I play the Acolyte or the Thibblethip? I think I scry. See maybe if I find a Fiend Artisan or something? No. Don't need another one of you. Yeah, I guess I just... Well... There's a chance I could double spell and that feels better. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's go for it. Nah, shucks. Alright, he still trades with Rimrock. Embercleave is a problem. But that's always the case. Cool, we got a banner. But does he attack? Dun dun dun! I think he attacks with 10th Street Dodger and that's it. That's the way he's been playing. Make it unblockable. Have some fun. That's an annex. Oh, yikes. Big yikes in that one. Um, still have to block to just not take the damage. And this reduces the um, devotion. So Kogla fighting Annex is a little better now. Gosh, that banner's still doing so much work for him over there. He gets one more. One, one. One, two, three, four, five. I go to one. Gosh, I am so dead, you guys. <laughs> Going wide is not easiest thing for this deck to compete against. Ember Cleave. Rimrock Knight. Well, okay. On the draw against a deck like that with a draw like that. Yeah, makes sense to lose. Okay, that is a bad hand. It's a little better. <laughs> this looks like the older version of the deck. Not as grindy. We'll take it though. Alright, Diego. Diego Vsky. That's, uh. Kept a hand of seven. Yikes. I think I put back the Incubation Druid because I want both these to survive. Because I'm trying to get to six mana. Please don't be Team of Wreck. I am begging you. Anything but Team Wreck. Or just Guy Fires, the bed too. It's not looking good, guys. I think we just have to go for it. Druid. He's gonna have a flame sweep, and we're going to weep. Spiral. Okay. 
Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Or team or flash, that'd be even worse. Plays an Uro. <gasps> okay, okay. Do you think he has a mystical dispute? No. Well, he hasn't played. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Just two red sources. Rude. Untap land. Let me punish this fool. How dare you? And center's tapped. I'm just gonna adapt this so we can't Scorching Dragonfire in response. Oh, come on, man. He's gonna go... Whoa, Cavalier. Agent? What? Is this Teamer Fires? What is happening? Well... Don't really want to fight him with Kogla right now, so... Guess we'll just get Ruda. Godzilla? Interesting. Okay, I'll take an Antris. Why not, man? Cool. So we have a board presence, at least. I want to get a Fiend Artisan going. That'd be pretty cool. Kogla can bounce Acolyte. <gasps> You're so screwed. Burrow fires land land. Makes sense. That's pretty cool. I can respect this deck. I don't see what Godzilla really does. Makes Cavalier slightly better. Makes Agent worse. <laughs> um. Yeah. Odd. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just take it. Don't really want him to get anything back. What would you put on top? Agent? Yeah. Don't want Agent of Treachery. That's the thing I don't want to encounter. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rude! Rude. Um, okay. Could attack for six there. I can just play a Kogla and fight him. Seems fine, because then it gets rid of the fires, but then he just gets... Ooh, it gets exiled? Okay, okay. What would he put on top? Agent. Agent takes Garuda or Kogla. We lose. That's a no-go. So. The Atris. And then we scry. Maybe. Don't need another Garuda. Ooh, Thassa. Scry first. Don't need another land. Thibble thip. Another land. <laughs> so Thassa's a good draw for us. Um, have to avoid agents or that. That's scary. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. Um, he even steals a blocker, pumps them all. Yeah. Dang, son. All right, that's pretty cool. I like your deck opponent. It's pretty neat. And yeah, I'm just dead. Okay. Okay, very dead. <laughs> and this is a hand. It's not amazing, but it'll do. We're on the draw so we can draw more land drops. It's a goose. Makes me scared. If we're up against food, we have some fragile cards. And I need to draw lands. <laughs> so we'll see. What you got? Could be mono green. I've seen this in mono green sometimes. Skull Prophet. Okay. Could also be a Nethroid deck. Play Druid so we know we can untap with it. Paradise Druid, rather. They're both Druids. So. Me saying that didn't help anyone. <laughs> okay, so didn't mill himself. Seems like 
my Golgari Netherite list, really. Yeah, so we'll play a Druid in a tap land, I guess. If we draw an untapped land, then we can go for it. Although I'm kind of nervous we'll be helping our opponent too. We'll see. Probably taking five here. Yeah, I'll take three. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Could you play a Cavalier here, maybe? Finality. Boo. So we just killed everyone. Interesting. <laughs> Weird choice. So I guess just play an Incubation Druid. Don't need another one. I'd rather have lands. Next turn I can do Fiender's and Meyer Triton. What is his deck, you think? Is he gonna find back two dudes? What is going on here? Another goose. So maybe he does that kill stuff on purpose and then plays an Ethroid? Is that his game? Meyer Triton. Creature, creature, no. Stop milling lands. Uh, at least I have a blocker now. If I really need to, I could fetch up a Fibblethip, draw some cards. So he does have six mana, he needs seven for Nethroi. What is going on? <laughs> he does it again! <laughs> what is happening? Okay. So all I have to do is top deck lands. He has top deck gas. This is the weirdest opening I've ever played against. <laughs> Land. That's a Thassa. Well, that'll be good once I get the land. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still not enough mana for Netherite. He could hard cast it though. Like, that has to be what he's playing, right? Like, what else plays like this? <laughs> Gem Razor? Sure, dude. Okay, that's a good draw, actually. I can get a land. Seems pretty cool. Um, Might as well get a Scry Land, I suppose. Uh, don't need a fibble thip. Let's see if we can find something better. Yeah, value, guys. Look at the sick value. Don't need a Thassa. Mattress. Fiend Artisan seems pretty good to get back, though. So we'll do that. Thassa doing work over here. Yeah, not blocking. It's not worth saving three of the four damage. What, what is your deck? I need to know what your deck is. Takeru. <laughs> okay, no blue source, no problem. We have Paradise Druid. As long as you don't run into like, ooh, sweet. It's even better. I was gonna say, as long as you don't run into uh, something like Angress Rampage. I'll play the Swamp. Don't want to take damage, but don't have to. Next turn, I'll probably play these two. And then we're off to the races. That's a growth spiral. Main phase. Bold move from opponent. Team or wreck, you say? Gonna write an essay. That's what I say. Another triome, sure. Please don't have a sweeper, opponent. That is all that I ask of you. I, um, okay. I, I guess that's fair. Dang it, you should've killed my Fibblethip, man. One, two, three, four. All right, let's just keep our Incubation Druid alive. Let's do a main phase in case he tries to Scorching Dragonfire or something. 
So it gets elementals, playing Growth Spiral. Odd. That's a Risen Reef. Didn't hit a land, good. When this thing ramps is when it's at its scariest. Yikes. Uh, definitely gonna block with the Fibble Tip here. So next turn I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, possibly eight mana. So Artisan and Gyrude is possible, but I need to draw an untap land. So, rude. Spreading it out a little bit, kind of odd. One, two, three, four, five. Speed number six. I'm just gonna play Genesis Ultimate him next turn. Just watch. Okay, no one tap land, so. Guess I scry first? I don't know, dude. Let's just play a guy, Ruda. Guy, Ruda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Interesting. Guess I'd rather have Leaf Kindred? I don't know. That was a whiff. Big old whiff ski. The card's fine, but not super explosive. Goes well. I can play him, Fiend Artisan, and Fibble Tip next turn, so that's pretty cool. So I'll, I'll, I'll settle for that. We have a 6-6. Six, six. I gave him an Uro. <laughs> not, not, the, not the best outcome for me. Because that's the thing with like the non-combo version of the build, you know? But, shwedevs. Dude, attack, I will trade this guy Ruta all day. All day. All of the days. Every single day. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, he's drawing cards off him now. It's now what we want to see. Oh, no. If he pumps and then attacks, offers the double trade. I think I'll take it. I think I have to. He probably has another one, but whatever. Okay. So, now I can play Gyruda and Fibblethip, or Gyruda and Fiend Artisan, seems fine. I need a board presence. Sweet. Pelucranos in the yard. You put him on the battlefield, or an Atris. Uh... I don't have the mana to fight with Pelucranos. Let's get the Atris. More fun this way. <laughs> so I might just have to... Ooh. What's the other card? Don't know, don't super care. Oh, rude. I care a lot, guys. I care a lot. At least I have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Two mana 8-8, eight, eight, bro. This card is, oh, it's disgusting. Disgusting. So I can play Acolyte, get back four runners, and then how much mana does that leave me with? One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. Rude! No! <laughs> Come on, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can't play these two. Which is what we would call a bummer. If you're unfamiliar. But. Six mana plus three is nine. I can bring back Pelucranos and fight the Risen Reef. Is that even good? Can't really have Uro going crazy. Ugh, he just gets him back again. Decisions, man. Nine mana. It's the best use of our mana. Double tip, try and draw a land. Pelucranos, fight Risen Reef. He has a Fiend Artisan now, so I think I just have to fight the Fiend Artisan, actually. But I can't. 
Well, if I tap this for the mana first. Uh, land, 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 druid, druid, boom. Okay. So with that much mana, he can just fetch up whatever he needs, and that is scary. Not about that life. The attack with the Atris there is almost kind of free, because I could kill one of these two. Um, in case he has a Thassa or something, big yikes. Man, see, this is why I can't play other decks. <laughs> We're just going over the top of each other. I don't have enough interaction for that. No! Come on, dude. <laughs> Give me a chance. Yeah, he has way too much mana for me to compete. No lands in hand. Four cards. If he attacks, he probably doesn't have a Thassa. Okay. Well, let's hope for the best. See what we can hit. Acolyte, Fiend Artisan. So I could get the Acolyte, put Fiend Artisan in my hand. Ooh, Thassa. Yeah. Thassa is pretty cool. 21 to 28. Maybe I should try to mill out my opponent. <laughs> it seems like almost my best strategy at this point, which is sad. Let's see? Fiend Artisan. Oh, dang! What a hit! What a hit! <laughs> Sorry, bro. He probably has one in hand, but that's fine. Ooh. You're helping yourself out now, dude. This is not a May ability. The only May part is putting it onto the battlefield. Um, that puts him five more cards deep. Agent in the yard. Do you think he has a Thassa's Oracle? I think I have to just take that gamble. You might just be prepping for an alpha swing. Um, if I just Fiend Artisan for an Izoni, I feel like there's no way he can kill me through all those blockers. <gasps> well, that's scary. It's only five damage, okay. Could be worse. Two more triggers. Ooh, and then Omnath draws him more cards. I think I can mill him out next turn. Yeah, Fiend Artisan for a Gyruda, and then Blink it with Asa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If he has another Agent, I don't think I can do it. Down to 5 cards? You have to sack this to play Fiend Artisan. Or <laughs> Agent of Treachery, rather. So then I should be able to... It's another Omnath. That's game, right? Are we doing it? How much damage is that? One, two, three, four, five again. Down to two cards. Build himself out. Yeah, he has no blue sources, so Thassa's Oracle won't even do it. Sweet! We did it! <laughs> Play to your outs, guys. Play to your outs. Well, am I dead, though? Wait, couldn't he have just Elphid? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Doesn't matter, he just loses. What am I missing here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I let the one one Risen Reef through. 
Dude, so if you just put a counter on the Risen Reef instead? Because this guy was tapped, right? I think he could have won. <laughs> okay, mana looks decent. Loot tree. Okay, I respect this. Let's see it, opponent. What you got? Temple of Epiphany. Cool. I wish my incub incubation druid was a paradise druid. But we can't have it all. Play this so then I can double spell next turn, hopefully. If not, I'll probably just play Fibble Tip into Tap Land. Try and hit land drops. Cool, cool mountain. Non land card. So your lands can still be. You still have a good mana base. It's a good policy. Is it just blue red? I'm trying to think what deck would be like better for this because you can't do Phoenix because one art like Arclight Phoenix isn't good. Um, Grixis, you kind of want all the Planeswalkers you can get. You can't do like a Fires deck. Finale's in there. Interesting. Fibbles it first in case you draw a non-painful land. Nope. I think I'll actually play a Fiend Artisan here? Well, Incubation Druid. You could have a Sweeper. In which case, Fiend Artisan would be better as a follow-up. Okay, so we could have Flame Sweep, or... <sighs> Storm's Wrath next turn. But if I had untap land, I can play Gyruda. Kinda wanna just play Atris next turn. Make sure I have a land drop so I can rebuild after a Sweeper. I wanted Fiend Artisan so I could fetch up a Fibble Thip, draw two cards. It's like not the most powerful play in the deck, but it's the one I'm like most excited for for some reason. That's Flame Sweep. That is so Flame Sweep, dude. In which case... One, two, three, four, five. We can attack for one. Uh, I think I just end and then in response I can adapt one of these dudes Cuz that really smells like flame sweep to me <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming and then if he taps out I'll just adapt anyway Hope for the best. He'll probably have like a bounce spell. I mean, I'm sure he's playing like brazen borrower unsummon the one that makes you amass a 1-1 one -one. After response. Man, three mana draw one. Yikes. But he was hoping to counter something right there. <laughs> so cool. See, we don't have to play Gyruda. This deck can, you know, it can do stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or, one, two, three, four, five, adapt here, four mana, play an Atris. I'm for it. Try and hit a land drop. If I can get those dudes out of Storm's Wrath range, we're doing things. Dude, remember when I had 13 bug tokens and played uh, Enry's Forerunners? That was pretty cool. Sorry, insect tokens. Weird. Okay. Um. Well, do I want him to be able to kill it in response? I don't think so. Let's just play an Atris. And a fiend artisan, I guess. See what happens. I have no clue what to expect right now. <laughs> Essence scatter. That's pretty rude. Can't play another one, so let's scry. Cogla, is that even like that good? I don't think so right now. Fiend artisan. Probably should have played Mire Triton, but whatever. Because then when I play him, he can be out of range. Quench will still get me. Okay. Attack for one. So we know he's running quite a few counter spells. By the fact he's been holding up a lot of counter spells. 
Um, so he probably has a quench in there. I imagine he probably has Shark Typhoon. Dang, bro. So he's clearly missing land drops. Otherwise, I can think of no reason why he would cycle that there. What could he copy with Lutri now? Brazen Borrower? Um, Lava Coil? That'd be kind of rude. No. I knew, I knew it. You mongrel. You fiend. Just like the one right here. Um. Okay. So. We will start with an Atris. Should have shocked this first player on Quench, but whatever. Because I know I'm going to play one of these two anyway. Dude, you can't handle it if uh, all the creatures I'm playing are two for ones. Dang it! Piss! The shame! Alright, Meyer Triton to try to get him out of sweeper range. Yes. Good. See? See? We can have a clock. Seems good. Boom! Nailed it. Dude, you are so dead now. Meyer Triton for lethal. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, I played that so good. I got lucky, though. <laughs> I got so lucky that I had two creatures. <laughs> well, guys, that was the deck. Hope you enjoyed. Um, wow, I never saw a Nullhide Ferox once. In the yard or on the battlefield or in my hand. Interesting. Um, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of slots that probably need to be changed. We'll see. Kind of want to cut one Fibblethip for, like... Another Meyer Triton or an Incubation Druid. Just to kind of either speed up the game to my late game or slow it down with the Meyer Triton. Kind of want... No, Toothhouse is fine. Probably cut a Ferox for more ETB synergies. We'll see though. There's plenty of games where I would have been super happy to see it. So, <laughs> not sure what to think. Izoni was a boss and with Enrys Forerunners was cool. Fiend Artisan, I wanted every single game. It was disgusting. So, definitely a keeper. Well, neat. Let me know what you guys thought, what changes you would suggest, and uh, what are the decks you want to see. Otherwise, catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a good one.